Our next speaker tonight decided to paddle the length of Michigan's Grand River because he could no longer drink vodka or anything else with alcohol. Please welcome Joseph Neely. My mother was almost 93 uh, when she died in June. She was a poster child for uh, late in life growth. Uh, she flourished by getting out of her comfort zone and accepting the risk of whatever might be around the next corner. As an example of that, after my father died, money was tight and she decided to open her home in Grand uh, on the lake as a bed and breakfast. But uh, I was a little concerned about that and told her that she did it anyway and it turned out great. Uh, another example was that when she was 75 years old, this is about a decade later, she uh, married her high school sweetheart and moved to the Pacific Northwest, leaving her comfort zone 2,500 miles behind her. And those were the happiest years of her life, I think, out there. So my brother Tom and I are nearing the end of a quest to paddle the length of the Grand River. The Grand is Michigan's longest river. It runs from south of Jackson through Lansing and Grand Rapids before it ends up emptying into Land, uh, Lake Michigan and Grand Haven. It's 262 miles. And uh, like my mother, the, the paddle trip has taken me, at least initially, out of my comfort zone a bit. I'd never spent more than 20 minutes in a canoe in my entire life. And that was 50 years ago at summer camp. So the idea for the trip uh, had been kicking it around in my head for a while, but I didn't pull the trigger until uh, I heard my wife talking to her daughters about taking a trip to Italy, and my nose was a little out of joint because I wasn't uh, consulted or included. And when I raised that to her, she said, yeah, you know, you're not. That's right. Uh, but uh, any trip to Italy is going to uh, include time spent in a vineyard. Uh, and at that time, I'd been sober for four years. And uh, so I, I thought, OK, you're right. I don't need to do that right now. Uh, I'm going to canoe the Grand River. She thought that was okay, and, uh, and there we are. So that's how it all started. Um, I had spent every summer of my life on the shore of Lake Michigan, of my youth at least, uh, at our home in Grand Haven, just a mile north of where the Grand empties into the lake. Uh, and so I knew the Grand River well, and I have memories that I've carried with me of the river my entire life. Um, and uh, so I, I knew the Grand, but really I only knew the last mile or two uh, where it enters the lake. And uh, so I held on to the dream of exploring it um, really throughout my life, but, but uh, you know, it almost didn't happen even then because life gets in the way. As Harry Chapin says, there's always bills to pay and planes to catch and that sort of thing. So the decision finally made, however, there was no doubt that I would take my brother along with me. He was the only one who would understand that this trip down the Grand was every bit as significant as Huck and Jim's trip down the Mississippi. Uh, and uh, every bit as significant as uh, Mr. Stanley finally finding Dr. Livingston. Uh, it was our planting of our flag at the North Pole. And so we bought a used canoe and we named it the Billy V in honor of our grandmother. Um, and we started our quest at the river's source. And uh, so far in three paddling seasons, we have made it as far as almost to Grand Rapids, to Ada, just shy of Grand Rapids. We would have finished the trip uh, this year, were it not for high water in the spring and for our mother's, uh, our mother's death. Uh, but God willing, we will finish the trip uh, next year, early in the season. So, you know, how has breaking out of my comfort zone changed my life for the better? And to start with, my brother and I were not always as good of friends as we are right now. Uh, we always loved each other, but sometimes we didn't like each other. And that has changed. We've created an outlet for our creativity uh, uh, at lengthofthegrand.com, where we write and post things about our trip. I've learned I'm pretty much always happy on the river, and uh, the gift of a new source of happiness is, is a wonderful thing. Also have rediscovered uh, some things about nature. Uh, we have found places where bald eagles are more common than blue jays as we float down the river. That's between Portland and Ionia. If you're ever out that way, it's absolutely gorgeous. And in this time of... Um, dismal political discourse, we have elevate our spirits. We recite poetry on the river. 
Uh, we sing the great songs of our childhood. Uh, I haven't yet convinced him uh, that some of my songs are deserve to be in the great ones. I'm thinking MacArthur Park now with its sweet green icing flowing down. Did you see that slide? But uh, I think it belongs in the Pantheon, uh, certainly. So uh, now let me ask you, what is your Grand River? Uh, what mountain, what metaphorical or real mountain do you dream of climbing? What sea do you need to sail? And then let me ask you, why aren't you doing it? I think I hear my mom, she's saying, get out there and start paddling. You never know what might be around the next corner. Thank you. Thank you, Joseph. Thank you, Joseph.